can welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're working on the chapter eight summary practice test. So let's get right into it. Change the slides here. Get me my pen. Oh, come on. All right, uh, question number one. A sunset company marks up merchandise 40% on the cost and the DVD player costs $90. So what is Sunset's selling price? Okay, so selling price is equal to the cost plus the markup. And so it's asking what's the selling price? And we know our cost is $90 and it's for, uh, 40 per, the markup is 40% on the cost of $90. So the selling price is 90. All this is just doing the math. Plus 40% of 90 is 36. So our selling price is $126. Simple. Uh, to be honest with you, um, you know, after doing all of the uh, drill problems and the word problems, that's why I said this is simple. Um, because if I did the drill problems and word problems, it's like, okay, kind of like boring. <laughs> All right, number two. Uh, JC Penney sells jeans for $49.50. That costs $38. So they're selling $49.50 and the cost is $38. And it's asking, what is the percent markup on the cost? All right, we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. So selling price is equal to cost plus the markup. So if our selling price is $49.50 and our cost is $38 and we want to know what the markup is, we $49 isolate the markup, $49.50 minus $38 is equal to M. And so that means um, $11.50 is our is our markup but now remember we're asking what is the mark percent markup on the cost this is our markup okay but it's the markup on the cost so we have to take the 1150 and divide it by the $38 okay to get $30 and I mean 30.26 percent as the markup on the cost this is the markup divided by the cost. Right? But, uh, you know, go back to chapter, you know, two, three, whatever it was, chapter six, when we're talking about percentages, right? Problem number three: Best Buy sells a flat-screen, high-definition television for seven hundred dollars. Selling price: Best Buy marks up the TV 45% on the cost. So what is the cost and dollar markup of the TV? Selling price is equal to cost plus the markup. So if I have the selling price of $700 and that's equal to, let's see, we want to know what the cost is. And we know the markup is 45% of the cost. So that's 700 is equal to, let's see, 1 minus 0 0.45 is, I'm sorry, 1 plus 0 0.45 is 1.45 of the cost. Divide both sides by 1.45. What you do on one side, you need to do on the other. And so 700 divided by 1.45 is... 482.76, and that's my cost. Okay. Now, if that's my cost, Correct. all right, so we know what the cost is, and we want to know what the dollar markup is. Well, if my TV sold for $700 and my cost was 482.76, that means my dollar markup is going to be 217.24. That's the dollar markup. Simple as that. So when you put something in 
Number four. Sports Authority make, uh, marks up New Balance sneakers thirty percent, uh, $30 and sells them for 109 Markup is on cost. What are the cost and markup, percent markup? So we know they're marketing up $30 and sells them for 109 So we have $109 is our selling price. Selling price is equal to cost plus markup. Jeez, I think I could have done that a little bit better. <laughs> All right, so $109 is our selling price, okay? And we want to know what the cost is, and we know the markup is $30. Okay, now remember, this is a 30, you know, they're telling us the markup is $30. That $30, if you recall, is a percentage of either the cost or a percentage of either the selling price or the cost right when we think about it in that terms it ends up giving us the thirty dollars that's why we're only putting the thirty dollars here we don't have to show it as you know some percent and we're going but the question is going to ask us you know what is that percent right but for right now it's just telling us that that's the bottom line there is thirty dollars so that's why we just have the markup as a straight thirty dollars and when we do the math 109 minus 30 that gives us 79 dollars is our cost okay now if we know our cost is thirty dollars and i'm sorry if we know the markup is thirty dollars and we know our cost is 79. We're just going to divide um, one by the other in order to get 37.97% uh, as our percent markup. Right. And that's how we arrive at the markup. So we're using a straight dollar figure here as our markup in order to determine our cost. But to figure out what that percentage is, obviously we take that straight dollar figure and we divide it by you know our cost amount to, to understand how much that percent markup is number five the shoe outlet bought boots for sixty dollars and so they bought boots for sixty so that's our cost and marks up the boots fifty five percent on the selling price so it wants to know what the selling price of the boots is selling price oops this selling price is equal to cost plus the markup so selling price is equal to we know the cost is 60 and we know the markup is 55 percent of the selling price so do the math here <laughs> selling price minus 55 percent is equal to 60 so 1 minus 100 percent minus 55 percent is 45 percent or 0 0.45 s and that's equal to 60 divide both sides what you do on one side you do to the other they cancel so S is equal to our selling price is equal to 60 divided by 0 0.45 and that is going to end up being $133.33 okay problem six let's see here office max sells um, a desk for $450 selling price and marks up the desk 35 percent on the selling price what does the desk cost so we don't know the cost right if you notice all of these problems are very very similar there's just a slight little twist they're all based upon that particular formula and if you, you know and that's what i had originally said a long time ago is that if you do enough problems you uh you know it's difficult to just skim over something and then see a problem and then try to go back and plug in the numbers okay try to find what you need to know and then try to plug in the numbers and chances are uh, you know 
oftentimes you're going to be wrong because you're choosing the wrong formula or you're choosing a wrong variation or you're just misplacing the number and you know where it's supposed to be but if you understand the concepts and you do enough problems you start seeing the patterns I mean you know we've been working here with this selling price is equal to cost plus markup and all it is is just variations upon you know the, the cost and variations upon the markup whether it's selling price or um, uh, the cost itself um, we're given uh, you know a dollar amount and then we're asked to figure out the percentage you know they're all just slight little variations and as long as you understand everything uh, you understand the formula and you've done enough problems with those variations it you know when it comes time to take tests or try to remember this stuff you know it comes back very easy and then you're not trying to guess at what formula you're supposed to be using you're not going back and going oh well which example was it should have been and blah blah it was just easier to study the problems and do the work <laughs> it's just honestly all right so anyway enough of my rambling here let me get through this one problem all right so um, I have $450 as my selling price and that is equal to, you know, we're looking for our cost and our markup is 35% of that selling price of $450. So we're going to do the math equals the cost plus 35% uh, of 450 is 157.50. So 450 minus 157.50 is equal to our cost, which ends up being $292.50 is our cost. Done. All right, we will uh, pick up with problem number seven in the next video.